Yo, what is up, guys? It's Kyle back out here again with another Persona 5 Royale walkthrough. Uh, in the last one, as you may remember, we got in a relationship with Aunt Takamaki, but we were also caught on by Makoto Nijima. So, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna have to go get intel on the mafia boss and steal his heart. But other than that, we're gonna go do a social rank with Kawakami. So let's just see what's up today. Oh. Hello, are you perhaps Cruz or something? This isn't this isn't Kawakami. Mm. That voice on the phone wasn't Kawakami. Maybe you should ask for more details. Who is this? This is the head nurse at Aoyama Hospital, speaking on behalf of Kawakami-san. Kawakami-san, mm, Kawakami-san actually collapsed, and she's been admitted to our hospital. Do you know our hospital address? Her room number is... This is a good. Let's head over there right away. Jeez. I'm just a little overworked. No need to make a big deal about it. Haha. <laughs> but thanks for coming all this way to visit me. Uh, how could I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payments? <laughs> there you are. What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. What? Takase-san, you contacted the school? Well, you weren't answering your phone. And when I thought you finally answered, it was a nurse who told us you were here. It's really an inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse. But our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we'll need you to transfer the money. I I'm sorry. These are Takase-kun's guardians, the ones I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Who's this? He's one of my students. He came to visit me. Messing around with another student, huh? Haha, <laughs> you never learn, do you? <sighs> and after all you did to him. I'm sorry. So when are you going to transfer the money? I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Kawakami, don't, don't pay them. Kurusuku, stay out of this. Don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adoptive son died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. Ugh. That's not... And yet she still doesn't know her place. And she still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to... Sh we're gonna need you to show him some remorse for what you did to him. In a material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. So... It's not like we're trying to extort you, but who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time job overwhelmed him, which led him to that accident. Poor Taiki, it's almost like he was murdered. So you can no longer feel regret. In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we just have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher would be over. Well, we're looking forward to receiving your payment. <sighs> I had to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring our si to our sister's company is the only way. I'll think this through more, please. Haha, <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting scolded by my student. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? I'm not worth it. You know, well, I'm gonna stop worrying about it. The money, I'll pay it. I'll do everything my master tells me to do. Meow. I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to Takase-kun. So if his guardian demands money, then I just have to pay them. That's the wrong choice. Stop giving them money. Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet. So my thoughts are all over the place. I'm going to get some rest. 
I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It made me really happy. I feel that Kawakami is starting to depend on me. Rank 7. All right. <laughs> I'll be released the first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs, the IVs here work really well. Visiting hours are over. Go at home then. safe, okay? Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. Right, we're gonna grab them by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Sweet, let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Let's go. You might end up running into the mafia. Be okay, so we gotta check that's the first thing. Oh, that's Kawakami's message from last night. And surprisingly, Makoto's here. Okay. So we're just gonna. This guy. Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Ah, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. Well, that's one part of the crime. The second part, I believe, is... Find Intel on Central Street. I'm pretty sure we have to come back here and talk to this guy. What's wrong, kid? Don't see guys like me here very often. Uh, I want I want a part-time job. Hmm? That's supposed to be some kind of password. I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't been here long. Try talking to someone else. Introduce me. This ain't going to be easy. I only know one guy around here. Sometimes I see him in an alley across the way. But I don't make think he's here today. He might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. Maybe this another person would know something. Apparently he lives, he's near the state train station. So let's go back and take a look. Okay, so now you want to head over to the underground walkway. And you're going to get a text. This person is here just saying that Makoto's there and stuff. But, and you want to head to, I'm pretty sure we go up these stairs. And we come this way, and he's chilling right over here. Oh, this man. What's with that scary look on your face? If you have something to say to me, just say it. I, I want a, I want a part-time job. A part-time job? You're not talking about some ordinary job. Take my advice. Don't do it. They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their side schemes. Them. That mafia is evil, I tell you. How do I meet them? They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area now. But just so you know how who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use some weird phrase code words, you know? That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're rentless when it comes to targeting teens. Uh. Yeah, we got some information. All right. We should do what we can to help them out. I 
have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Okay, so now we're gonna have to go to each place. We're gonna have to go to Taiku Building, which is I'm pretty let's just go to An first. We have to go to Station Square first. And An will be over here by the tree. Sorry. Sorry, Kyle. There's nothing over here. Look, someone's about look, someone's about a video shoot over by the train. But I guess that's for models? In any case, they're not here. Go try seeing what Ryuji and Yusuke have. Now, Yusuke, I'm pretty sure he's on Central Street at the start, right here. There's no time for... I didn't want detours. I'm trying to talk to... I'm trying to listen. I was simply wondering where the arcade is. I'll be going now. Arcade, you're a high school student, aren't you? You better not be looking for trouble. All kind of shady's activities happens at arcade. What are you talking about? It's nothing more than a place you go to play games. Okay, I, I can't. Is that it? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, uh, and then you want to head to the underground walkway. I'm sure. Um, is really over here? No. Okay, so we just gotta head to the take you building, which is somewhere. I just don't remember how to get over there. Is it down here? Where am I? Oh no. Oh no, we're going the wrong way. I'll take you building. I'm pretty sure I have to go to this Giza line gate. And he's right here, yeah. Hello, young man. Would you happen to know how I could aboard the Inogami line? Uh, go down those stairs, then turn left. Be careful, Granny. Oh, Shibuya is so complicated. These bones don't move like they used to, either. How oh, troubling. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, Kyle. Sorry, my head didn't end up being anything. That dude at the stairs pretty misleading, huh? Sheesh. Oh, what about Ana and Yusuke? You should go check on them. Hey, Granny, you know, okay? You're looking pretty shaky, so I don't mind giving you a hand. Now that we talked to those three, we're going to head back to Central Street, and we have to go to an alley. Which is the back alley that leads to protein. Hello. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. <laughs> You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Eh? Huh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. I don't have any proof, though. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. It looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. It 
an unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto, Nijima. I dug it up. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so... That's all. Bye. You talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Maybe she's not so bad after all, indeed. I don't know why I want to hang out tonight, so we're just through the crossword puzzle. Okay, let's try this again. Let's hope we can do it this time. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, let's get it right this time. G O L B E N. Wow, golden week. Okay, now that that's done, we're just gonna go upstairs, train a little, and yeah, move on to the next day. So, we meet again, but my what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves' activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Aw, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. They were going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. That's right! What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. 
Oh, how wasteful. <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Hey. They coming home late. Hope you're not sticking around your nose into other people's business. <sighs> He's as sharp as ever. But it's more like we're the ones being dragged into this. Uh, I'm sorry, Sojiro. Kawakami again. It's a catchy there, no, so we're just gonna go rank up with Kawakami again. Hey, hey! I actually really like the antique feel of this room. Mm -hmm. But I have to say goodbye for it today. Um... The thing is, I decided to quit. My boss found me a part time job that pays better than this one. Takase kun's guardian keep it increasing their demands. So this is just what I have to do. But is this really what you want? What I want? Takase kun's guardians say the only true way to apologize to Takase kun is by paying them. If that's not true, then what's the right thing to do here? I wonder if I can escape all this if I quit being a teacher. People like me have no right being a teacher. If I quit on my own, I won't have to pay them. That's why I'm going to quit both my teaching job and my maid job. What do you think? Uh, don't do that. But at the same time, if, if that's what you want, that's what I decided. But did I really decide it on my own? Now that I think about it, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. If I really felt bad for what happened, I would have resigned the day he died. And yet I feel the need to teach. I wonder why I feel that way even now. Um, You gotta try to remember. Who's the thing? Hmm? Oh, that's right. I decided the way to apologize to him was to make sure that there won't ever be another student like him. Because I might have been able to save him if I hadn't been afraid of rumors or labels back then. I wanted to become a teacher who takes care of her students. That's the mindset I had. But now, I spend all my free time at a part-time job just so I can continue working as a teacher. I put the critical work as a, of a teacher on the back burner so I could make apology money. That's where it all went wrong. I can't make things right with Takase-kun like this. Mistakes can be fixed. I'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way for me to make amends to Takase-kun. From here on, I refuse to pay them any more money. Smart. And that is my answer. Well, what do you think? Honestly? Be confident in your answer. I think it's the right choice. You're right. You can't get the right answer from someone else. It can only be found from within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I feel Kawakami's trust in me strengthening. I've been so worried about making money that I haven't been paying attention to my students, especially to you. I averted my eyes from you because you were labeled just like Takase-kun was. But from now on, I'm going to protect you too. As your teacher, I will never betray you. I want to protect you too, you know? That's kind of that kind of line really works from someone old enough to handle his own house choice. I mean... But thanks. I'll speak with Takase, with the Takases. I'm not going to run away anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I take talk to them face to face. All right, it's time for me to go. Thanks. Thank you. See you later. Good night. Good night. 
Awakami has finally resolved. Oh, is this Master? Thank you so much for today. Oh, wait. I was supposed to stop working as Becky today. To be honest, I always kind of knew in my heart I couldn't go on like this forever. But I felt so stuck facing it alone. It's thanks to you that I've actually figured out what I need to do. Uh, I'd do anything for you, Kawakami. Come on, you realize you can't feed me at lines like that anymore. But I haven't given you any proper preaching yet, so thank you. Really. Get to bed early tonight. Lack of sleep is basically poison for your body and mind. Okay, good night. Makoto. They were asking if they were asking if you made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? N no, it's it's nothing. It's nothing. Sorry to worry you. Hey. Oh no. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. I've heard about rumors that as well people have been mentioning at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. Mm. Well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <laughs> They're unforgivable. Hirsa Kuhn, please come to the student council's office. Mr. Kuhn, please come to the student council office. Hey! That sounds like Kawakami. I wonder what's up. So here's going to be a social rank, but you're going to see it. Sorry. Sorry to pull you out of class, but it's about Takase Kuhn's guardians. I told them that I'm not going to pay them any more money. I'm quitting my part-time job too, although I'm still in talks with my boss about it. I'm going to devote myself to being a great teacher. No matter what others say, I won't waver. So thank you for giving me such a good advice. I just thought you should be the first to know. Miss Kawakami, you have guessed that the Kases are here. What? They're here at school? How long are you going to make us wait? him again uh you you know it lady <laughs> how rude i guess a student is only as good as his teacher obviously you lack a proper education you thought you could just call and say you're not going to pay her anymore who do you think you are yeah. is what i decided for takase kun's sake i'm going to make sure there won't be any more students like him who so you're just trying to get our, out of your responsibility? I bet you don't even care about Taiki. How are you still a teacher? Maybe we really should sue the Board of Education. Are you okay with that? A teacher who caused their students to die would surely cause a scandal. I'm not going to run or hide. I'm going to spend my time taking care of my students. If you want to take illegal actions, then go ahead. Regardless, I'll continue teaching. I decided that that's the best apology I can make to Takase. Paying money to you two is not the solution, to say the least. Hm. Along with suing you, maybe I should tell everyone about your little secret. You know, about your little ins your little stint as a sex worker. Huh? What? How did you? So I'm right, am I? What? I mean, the amount of money you're paying to us comes can't come from just a teacher's salary. Well, 
Shall we head over to the faculty office? Stop, please. Ha, huh, a teacher working in the sex industry. You've done it this time. How unfortunate for you that you thought you could just leave Taiki's matters unsettled. You know what you have to do now, right? Pay up. Don't ever call us again with this garbage about stopping the payment. Haha, uh. <laughs> I guess I can't quit my part-time job just yet. You can't give up. I know. But what am I supposed to do? Mm. What about the Phantom Thieves? Would they help even help someone like me? No, that's impossible. Haha. <laughs> Well, one's right in front of you. I can't do this anymore. I need their names. Who, the Takase? The husband is Toshio-san and his wife is Hiromi-san. Haha, <laughs> I couldn't forget, never forget them. I send them money every week. Wait, why? You don't intend on doing something, do you? Please don't, a shooting student asking the Phantom Thieves for help would be... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was so excited to tell you what I had decided, and then it ended up like this. Just forget everything, okay? If you think about it, I'm right back where I started. Mm. I guess I'll never be able to change. Yeah, uh-huh. Class is about to start, I need to go. <sighs> I need to do something about the targets for Kawakami. A teacher made to suffer. Don't worry, Kawakami, we're gonna save you. Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. And please, please hurry. <sighs> well, we'll just have to wait, let's prepare. I had to bother you, but are you expecting information from the journalist? Do you remember that thread? Blah blah blah. Is Kazuya Michigami? Wait, what are we talking about? We have our target. Okay, so I guess today would be a good day to go to Mementos. Yeah. Why well, somebody wants to talk? What are your plans? Just. Oh. Well, Ryuji wants to rank up, but today we're gonna start a new social link. Wait, actually no, I'm gonna get the persona for it and then we're gonna start the new social link. Okay, let's start this new social link with this guy right here, lucky man here. Hello. <laughs> May I get a word in? Yes. Okay. This distorted realm, teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of Sayori can also create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. This heart is skinned to an abyss. Now, regarding the source of my slum, I actually have an idea. In the other dimension, I saw the provision of Madarami's heart. At that moment, 
the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and uh, cheap desires. That is why, that is when true ugliness of the world becomes clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by moderate uh, capture it? Considering such intense questions only serve to be distanced from reality, without my filled mind. I truly struggle to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What What's the matter? matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Give me your brush. Please do not rush me. I only need a little more time. Hmm. The lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. Wait, you feel something approaching? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Inspiration has struck. That might be it. Touch brilliant composition. Ah, oh, my heart races. So no wonder something was approaching us. Ugh. Hmm. How inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will, you foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. Okay. So we're just gonna. I'm pretty sure these guys are weak to. Man, I haven't played this game in a minute. Uh, analysis. Pretty sure they're weak to fire. So we're just gonna. Find the fire attack that we have, Aggie Dino. They're weak to fire and wind. And I don't got wind. I'm such a waste of sperm. I guess we'll just hit them with the severe blade. Or verbal blade. Not gonna kill. Yosei's not gonna do anything. Oh, he freezed all of them. Nice. So like in this bot in this mini not even mini boss fight in this fight they're actually supposed to you got technical damage in this fight they're actually supposed to detonate but since Yusuke managed to freeze them they don't he learned a new skill counter <laughs> what a skill It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. I worry that you may not get what I mean. It was a figure of speech. I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. There aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? <laughs> Impossible. Good. What? Hmm. A satisfactory result. What do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... My picture turned into a real skill card? Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome the slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? It's a deal then. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. 
I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the dorm. I'll contact you once it's done. I'm in your debt. Thank you for all your assistance today. You helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration. I must say, I never expected my art skills would ever prove useful for the Phantom Thieves. I have to hold up my end of the deal. I'll perform the best of my ability. You need only ask. I'll be asking a lot. It's Indeed? Then you can count on me. My brush is yours to command. And now we should be heading back. I have to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. Ha! Huh. For the first time in a while. My brush will dance again. See you. Happy Yusuke. I like to see Yusuke happy. Saturday evening. Who's giving us a call? The journalist. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Let me see. I guess to put it simply, it's a nightlife district for adults. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. school uniform it would be bad for you to stand out you should change before you go you're in your uniform huh no choice I didn't have the time to go home people aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it oh you think so I thought this is normal I'm surprised you were thinking anything. Look, it won't be my fault when the cops catch you. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Is this really going to be okay? So we need to go not this way, right? Huh? Yeah. Sure. We need to go downstairs first, and then we're gonna head over here to this line. Yeah. Right, let's go to head to Shinjuku, and we unlock Shinjuku on the map. And this is where you have to start paying currency. Whoa. Even at night, this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for you. Hey. Stop looking around so much, you might you look like a tourist. Whoa. I was just trying to find that place we're looking for. Crossroad bars right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. 
So I'm gonna try. Uh, we're gonna find someone around the corner here. Never mind. Uh, hey, you wanna come play? If that's all you want. I'm not interested. Come on, I'll make you cheap. What do you say? Like that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to ignore it. And hey, you see that cop there? I'm trying to slowly walk around. Damn it! You have a moment? You have a moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. Yep. Uh, people mistake us all the time for younger kids, though. Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Shit. Now, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run! How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. And now we're gonna walk forward a little and then... I excuse me. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. And we're gonna learn something about that person later in the game, but in the meantime... Just go to Crossroads. Whoa, man. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time, too. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise. I thought you were joking, yet here you are. I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Oh. Why that? Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal then! Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. 
Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Hmm, Junya Kaneshiro. So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? All right, let's go. Hey! For real? Hey. Not so loud. Doing your kind of shiro and enter. There we go. Hmm. Now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Let's try tomorrow. It'll be whatever. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. Right. I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. This is totally crazy, bro. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Oh, you're right. He really would be a natural, but a graphic fee with blade pants. Oh, kill me now. Whoa, who the hell are they? Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel, straight out of heaven. And I'm Julie and Julie. If you're feeling saucy, what a cutie. You never guessed he was into the tracks. I say we show him the robes. You can't deny it. He saw you peeking into Crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. Whoa. Wait, hey, it's not like that. Dude, help. Tell them where we were just investigating or something. Knock him down. Huh? You just gonna leave me here like this? Come on, you're my best friend in trouble here. Oh hey, you got the chutzpa and those cheekbones. I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. We're gonna put your name in lights, and I know just the dress for you. Um. Well, uh, hopefully Ryuji finds his calling, or at least makes it out alive. Poor, poor Ryuji. Hey, there's nothing else for you to do over here, so let's go. Okay. Ryuji! We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. Well, he has his information, and yeah, I think this is a good place to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Persona 5 walkthrough. We went through a lot. Uh, we got intel. We found our next target, Junior Kaneshiro. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, if you want more Persona 5 Royale. And see you guys on the next walkthrough. Peace.